Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, June 10th, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Before we get to the charts, I do want to remind you that live sessions are this week. We have a big week this week. Live sessions begin after the close on Wednesday, June 12th. And if you are part of Swing Trade Pro 2.0, a member of that training, you are automatically invited at no additional cost to our five-day live sessions. Uh, and this time around, we're, we're talking option spread blueprints along with our 10 trading blueprints that are already available to members. If you are not already a member, this is the best time to join. 29% off for our summer flash sale here, uh, $497 total. And with that, you also get one free month of our Pivot Boss Premium Trading Room. No better time to join than right now, but you have to act fast or the flash deadline is coming up very soon. Ends Tuesday, June 11th. So again, you have a couple of days here to take advantage of that flash sale. But we are talking options and swing trading and additional Additionally, we'll be jumping into the trading room and applying these concepts throughout the week and into next week as well. So please be sure to join at pivotboss.com forward slash profits. All right, let's take a look here at the ES. Very narrow range of price action here already in the pre-market chart. 41% uh, of ADR, 22 and a quarter points of range right now. Monday is likely going to be uh, a relatively quiet range-bound day ahead of Fed Wednesday. So with this Wednesday, we get ourselves another FOMC statement, rate decision, and the press conference that follows. The last time we had one of these was May 1st here, and on May 1st, we had ourselves quite a day. That was a huge week. The Tuesday before was a huge Tuesday. The Wednesday of was huge, and then you finished strong into Thursday and Friday. That was a big week of action. The Monday prior, though, Monday prior was a range-bound day for the most part. We've already established a two-day narrow range here. When, uh, this Monday here could be a, a narrow range heading into Wednesday as well. Now, overall, uh, we're going to get ourselves another FOMC key level. And that key level is going to be very important. We'll see how the market responds to that level here later on in the week. And again, after the close on Wednesday, we're going to jump on to Swing Trade Pro 2.0 live sessions right after that to take advantage of the volatility to come. So today could be mostly range bound within the current two day range at these highs. And eventually we'll see how the market responds here heading into Wednesday's trading. Additionally, on Wednesday, CPI data. CPI data is going to be very important. So inflation data and the Fed on the same day could be fireworks heading into Wednesday's trading and into the end of the week. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. Right here, the NQ, very narrow range of price action as well. 33% of ADR, 85 and a half points of range right now. This is set to a multi-day range here, so we can drop this back down to one day, and you can see the reading here, 33%, 85 and a half points. Uh, inside Friday's session, uh, currently a developing three-day narrow range. Again, Monday here heading into Fed week, likely to be mostly light, which means fade the edges. Fade the edges right now. If you get a new high, could be fadeable back into the range. A new low could be fadeable back into the range. Not likely to see an expansion day today. You got to keep an eye on Friday's high and low. Those are the most important levels right there for the, both the ES and the N. The ES and the NQ both have very strong highs and lows from Friday's market, and that gave us uh, early key ranges. Those are going to be the levels to fade. If we get a test at the edge, it could be fadeable back up. Test at the edge, fadeable back down. Likely to remain within the three-day range until proven otherwise. Now, if we do see expansion through the low here, that opens up a return back down, perhaps back toward the previous month's close in the days ahead. So we'll, we'll see how this develops here heading into Wednesday's Fed and inflation data. All right, taking a look here at crude oil. This one right now is up. About 1% at the moment. One thing we mentioned Friday was, can this thing snap back to the 76.55 level? I was hopeful Friday we would get that level. Uh, we didn't quite get there. Got to a high of 76 and a quarter. 
We need another 30 cents to go uh, get the midpoint of the key range here, and that would cement the new key range. So impulse sell off down, now snapping back. As soon as it hits 76.55, we have ourselves a new key range to work with. Current high right now is 76.45. So 10 more pennies from today's high, and we have ourselves a new key range to work with, and that's going to be very, very important. Once we have ourselves a new key range here, we'll get ourselves uh, new boundaries here to work with, new edges to fade, and new extensions to target. So that's going to be something important to work with. So 76.55, the key level to watch here for crude oil to cement that key range. Now, looking at gold futures here, you'll notice gold had a heck of a day on Friday. All of metals really got a massive sell-off Friday. Gold sold off over 3%, uh, almost hitting the 2300 level, coming to a low into about 2304. That's a big time sell off outside day down. All the metals from copper, platinum, silver all sold off tremendously. Is this uh, a sell off that's going to catch fire and, and lead to more weakness up ahead? Or is this just selling pressure within range? As you know, we have ourselves a trading range that has developed from 2280 here up to the recent highs of about 2450. That trading range is in play. You can see an LVN on this end, an LVN on this end, and we have an HVN that comes right across the middle at 2350. So on this side of the range here, given the overall upward trending market, any test into this zone still could be fadeable for an upside move as of right now. But we got to see how the market responds after such heavy selling pressure on Friday. Any failure to hold 2280 could be an indication that we're falling back toward VWAP down below and maybe even a bit lower. So keep an eye on the edge of this larger trading range for gold. Uh, looking at the YM, you'll notice right here the YM very narrow as well. Just trading 175 points heading into the RTH open. That's 40% of average inside day at the moment not quite the type of range that the ES and the NQ currently have but clearly a, a bit of compression that's traded around the previous month's close so the previous month's close that black dotted line has basically been home base here for price so far this month six this is the sixth trading day of this month and every single day has hit the previous month's close price it's been trading right near the center of the previous month's range, previous month's high and low are right here. And so it really hasn't gotten away from that zone just yet. Again, this could be a holding pattern ahead of uh, the Fed this week, ahead of inflation data this week. The 33, 38.8 level rather, 30, 38.8, still a key level here. And right now we're just kind of chopping around that area a bit. If it gives it up, we have a shot to go test that 37.8 level down below. A rally takes you up a bit higher toward 40,000. So this market's still kind of in a holding pattern here, especially with inflation data and Fed on deck. Now taking a look at Bitcoin here, Bitcoin modestly lower at the moment, very narrow range, 28% of ADR. Now on Friday, I mentioned that we might be topping out a little bit here into the top end of this range we're not ready to see expansion out of this range and so coming into the top end of this larger multi-month range here suggests that we could fall back in to the middle of the range I mentioned that it wouldn't be surprising if we saw 65 66 K up ahead and we're just barely below 70 K at the moment but this thing could fall back into the center of the range as this larger trading range continues to develop at some point here we may see as I've mentioned before a spot ETF approval for ether futures that could lead to uh, more of an expansion phase up ahead until then could be range bound between 65k and 73k uh, looking at ether futures right now this one remains within range very very compressed range here a little bit of selling pressure on Friday for the pullback I did mention before if we did get uh, a shakeout leg or a pullback into the pivot range for the month here down below that could offer a buying opportunity and another rotation higher again this market stuck in a holding pattern as well as of right now but this compression right here 
is is building energy for the next forthcoming expansive phase, which could be somewhere along the lines of a thousand to twelve hundred points of range. So again, continuing to build this range here and uh, looking to be patient until potential headline risk helps uh, bring about that expansive phase. All right, please visit pivotboss.com forward slash profits to take advantage of our flash offer. Live sessions begin Wednesday. Everyone have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.